So let me, uh, this is the class project part two. Let me, uh, this is part of your document that we left off from the, from the, from the top part that I downloaded. This is the class project milestone and timeline for the project with it. And I kind of went through a lot of this with you about the hard skill sets and the soft skill set with it. Both are equivalent set of skills. But the key thing in this document I want to stress on is the difference between concepts and software. In your portfolio, you need to demonstrate concepts. Do not demonstrate hard softwares and, and Photoshops and Illustrator. Don't talk about all that technical jargon with it, okay? You need to talk to you, you need to talk about concepts. So this is what this document is about, is that because concepts are transferable skills. That's very important. I'm going to give you an analogy, and a lot of you can relate to this. Is that if you, all of you, I hope have a take, have taken some sort of writing class, like English 1301, Composition 1301, with it. And in in this class, where they teach you, they teach you how to write um, um, a research paper. You, they teach you how to write a thesis. They teach you how to write introduction pa uh, paragraph with your ending with your thesis. They they teach you to write three supporting. Uh, paragraphs with main uh, sentence to support your thesis and then you in your conclusion you're taught to restate your thesis again and then you write it out very general with it these are concepts in writing skills with it all right so uh, same goes as as any one of these things that you do is your instructor your English faculty don't care whether how you type up your paper. You could use Notepad or any text editor to type it up and print it out and he or she could read it with it. But they're not concerned about, they don't, they never teach you how to uh, use Microsoft Word, right? Today it could be the software. Tomorrow, when the business goes out, you don't have that software anymore. So please don't, don't count on software, learning the software. Please do not do that. So a portfolio needs to demonstrate concepts. And that's what this is about. So I broke down the four categories for you with it. And some of you, if it doesn't fit here, you can actually do the, uh, like I think I have one of you guys are video students, or there might be some video students in here with it. So if you're video students, I'm sorry, not video students, game students. And if you're a game student, you can actually do the, uh, the video as the demo reel, okay? So demonstrate your programming, or if you're an if you're a, uh, an animation, demonstrate about what you use to uh, how do you do storyboarding? Okay, how do you do layouts? How do you do frames? All that stuff, and how do you tween? All that's uh, the, the stuff that uh, that takes place with it. So concept, concept, concepts with it. Please do not mention any software when you talk about your portfolio with, with it as well. So. That's one thing. The other thing I need to talk to you about is there's what's called technical skill sets with it. So it shows your concept and knowledge with it, not the software knowledge side, okay? This is very important with it. And I talked to you about English 1301. So it teaches you how to write all this stuff with it as well. So I broke this down to you and how you talk about concepts with it. Please review. You pick one of these portfolio, one of these bullets, and your portfolio needs to speak volumes on each one of these things with it, all right? Uh, the second set of skills I need for you to demonstrate in your portfolio is soft skills. So these are stuff that you have learned since high school, middle school, elementary school. Things are, are you know, the, things are listening, communication skills. What's that? Speaking skills, uh, presentation skills, uh, showing up to work on time. That's a skill, believe it or not. The dependability. Are you a team worker? Are you adaptive? Can you change to whatever it is with it? And, you know, if, if the place is under construction and your your cubicle happens to be under a leaking pipe, you know, what do you do? Are you, you going to gripe? Are you going to bitch? Are you going to cry? I don't know. Can you adapt to it and get the job done? Uh, these are the type of stuff I hope you, uh, like I said, I can't teach all of this in this class with it. But, you know, there, there are some of the things I need for you to demonstrate to some way, somehow. And the best way how to demonstrate that is through a case studies, okay? So I just want I, I to throw that out there with it and, as a scenario with it. Uh, here is an example of a website design uh, of a, what's called a development cycle with it. And this is an eight-week project, eight weeks project with it. 
and I the black line is the timeline and each one of these things are collaborations and when you meet with your clients or your uh, your employer you know however I'm using the term client employer somebody that you're catering to somebody to me I think pays the bills so this can be your boss all right your designer it could be the programmer it could be the, the lead project person so on so on with it so this is a timeline and how did you you start with blank and how did you end up with a finished product that's a case study all right so I, 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 I and the rest of this are just referring to the rubrics uh, of this document right here that we I just went over with you it's this column right here 1 through 13 right here so I, I define all of this out for you in here and this is where you are going to come in and you're going to read through and what's the definition of each one of these things with it okay and as you go through here like I said uh, refer to this document on what course that you're sign up and this is the expectation uh, with it now I just want to let you know uh, you're not limited to all of these so if you have like consultant service or a testimonial of a past clients that you did then you got more options your option will probably be 110 points all right or 115 points with it so you you can score more than what's listed here you're only obligated to include what I asked you to do in these column does that make sense so for this set of students and as you can see this these are the two capstone courses this is the portfolio and this is the project analysis with it so both of these are all capstone class to a level two certificate is the IMED 2313 the IMED 2311 is the capstone for the AAS degree all right so I want to give you a broader story. I teach both sides I teach the beginning course and then I teach the last two course all right so somewhere in the middle I you know you build up content you build up your courses with it as well all right so that's the end of this video I want to talk to you about uh, with it I don't want to take any more time to uh, talk to you about it but I do want to uh, uh, open up this document on number three this is the uh, this is the third one in here and I, I want to this is the class exercise I'm gonna put this in the next one with it as well so uh, this is number three and don't worry when you see this this is written number eight I'm, I'm pushing it down to exercise number four now when you read this and you go through this um, with it and I gave you follow this with it this is this is an example of creating a logo and this itself is a case study okay so you notice how I start with pencil and paper look pencil and paper for this this particular student did this pencil and paper took a picture of it documented it scan it in or take a picture of it get into a digital format Photoshop or Illustrator in here with it modify that use vector use the Wacom tablet so on so on document it and you can see the finished product and how this particular person came to the finished product with it and I gave you some font website too you can actually download with it as well this is what the client wants to see all right how did you go from A to Z your employers want to see this don't show them this finished product show them how you got here that's a case study that is very 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 important how the how the development cycle works with it as well now this is just for a graphics logo I'm, I'm doing with it um, and I'm, I'm just sharing you what what takes place with it the other second point I want to make out is this is as you build your web page there are a couple things that you need to be aware one of the things is that I'm going to use this house as a house as an analogy so if I've, I am single and I live in a house if I, you know, if I buy a house that's 5,000 square feet, that's a big house, right? And I have to put in some furniture to fill that house. You agree? And, and that, the furniture is equivalent to your asset. That's why one of the questions I ask you and everybody to answer in this is that uh, do you have content for your portfolio with it? And that's very important for you to answer uh, in this question if I ever could get to that document with it is this do you have content to your portfolio with it if you are starting out in this portfolio and you don't have much then you need to pick a template design a template that is one page as this evolves to it you get a bigger 
template. And if you have lots of content already, then you pick the one that's 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 the largest one. So I'm going to talk to you about this with it as well. So that's the end. Uh, you know, I don't want to confuse you guys any more than what it, what I'm doing with it as well. So go, let me go back here in this document here for a second. I want to uh, go back to our, our so one, two, and three. Everybody needs to read. Pick f between four and number eight. Okay, you pick one of these things. You talk about if you're animation, if you're an art, if you're a video, or if you're a web design, you pick one of them. Does that make sense? So that's all I'm going to ask you to do. So this is the end of part two, video part two for the class project.